So, thank you, first for the kind indication, second to be here for my third time in that great place. And uh, uh, it's an, or, an honor to speak uh, on this topic, which is uh, surely an interesting topic and even difficult to shorten in uh, 20 minutes, but I will try to do my best. Uh, these are my conflict of interest. I don't know what I did. Can I have? the slide again. Okay, these are my disclosures. And uh, why in the era of uh, uh, well-standardized, known uh, aortic valve uh, prosthesis, su uh, surgical aortic valve prosthesis with excellent result, we need sutureless prosthesis. Uh, Greg Fontana explained uh, uh, the reason to shorten cost clamping time and cardiopulmonary bypass time in terms of clinical benefits. Uh, and uh, we need, uh, and we are in a continuous uh, uh, way and street to, to um, improve our result, uh, surgical and not only surgical results. And we need to optimize surgical approaches, uh, especially in concomitant procedure. We need to standardize this technique so that we can remove the human factor in our procedure. We need to shorten learning curves and obviously to facilitate minimal invasive AVR, which has shown to improve clinical outcomes. Uh, these are the three sutureless valve proposed uh, since uh, uh, 2009, there is a mistake, uh, uh, Enable was, uh, uh, got the uh, CE mark in 2009. Uh, so we have uh, uh, the uh, Intuity rapid deployment available uh, with a patient follow-up uh, uh, of three years. Uh, it's a bovine pericardium three leaflet and balloon expandable uh, prosthesis with a stainless steel uh, clot coverage frame that is expanded uh, uh, covering the native annulus by uh, the balloon inflation. Different available sizes from 19 to, 20, uh, to 27. Uh, it needs to be rinsed for uh, two minutes and need also three sutures that has to be uh, tight and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, a, a valve which has actually uh, around 1,000 of implants reported in clinical studies and it's not FDA approved. Uh, Perceval valve is available uh, since 2011 with a CE mark with five years uh, of uh, uh, patient follow-up uh, in clinical studies, uh, even if we have uh, up to now eight years of uh, uh, freedom from valve uh, deterioration. It's a bovine pericardium trileaflet self-expandable nitinol frame uh, with uh, additional proximal and distal rings for annulus fixation and in between we have some uh, stands for sinotubular fixation. It's available in a size uh, from 21 to 27. We have four uh, sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large, which covers from uh, 19 to 27 annulus uh, sizes. Rinsing is not required and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, deployed uh, over uh, three suture, guiding sutures that will be removed after uh, the deployment. The valve is collapsible and it's FDA approved since a few weeks here in the US. Uh, enable valve is a, a prosthesis with uh, uh, equine uh, pericardium uh, it was available because it's not anymore available on the market since last year. Uh, and uh, uh, it is uh, a valve which has a manual folding uh, over a, a more stiff nylon stand. So uh, the, uh, I will speak about these two valves. Uh, uh, Perceval and uh, Intuity to try to uh, point out the, uh, the difference of these uh, two prostheses. Uh, 
the truly different uh, concept is stent elasticity versus stent rigidity of uh, uh, Intuity. So Percival has a single super elastic alloy which adapts to the aortic root motion uh, during cardiac cycles and reduces stress transferred through the leaflets. Uh, it is uh, uh, folded during uh, uh, the, uh, the deployment and it expands automatically uh, after uh, uh, the, the deployment. Uh, Intuity has a rigid cobalt commune alloy which directly attached to the valve uh, uh, leaflets and uh, uh, does not uh, follow the uh, aortic uh, uh, movement. Uh, and here you can see how the two uh, postheses are uh, anchored to uh, the, uh, the aortic root. With Percival, we have an homogeneous stress distribution uh, due to the proximal and distal uh, ring and due to the uh, sinuses uh, uh, distribution that you can see here, uh, see here uh, while uh, Intuity is attached uh, uh, with a, a nitinol uh, stent which is uh, uh, expanded with a balloon uh, and with a, a dacron uh, or, uh, which covers the stent uh, and uh, uh, so the, uh, there is a high radial strength uh, uh, that uh, is required for the anchoring and anchoring is uh, uh, even uh, supported by three uh, stitches. Um, Percival is uh, not crimped so the leaflets are not crimped and uh, uh, they are only collapsed uh, due to these dedicated accessories uh, that allow the reduction of the valve diameter, which improves the visibility during implant. And uh, uh, it, uh, Intuity is not collapsible, so there is no problem on the pericardium. And uh, uh, the uh, uh, deployment uh, due to the uh, reduced visibility sometimes needs to be supported by uh, cameras uh, that uh, has to uh, help uh, for the, the implant. Uh, the collapsing uh, is a traumatic, and this was shown by uh, histopathological studies uh, in which we see that at different times of collapsing there is no damage on the pericardium. This was uh, performed at the University of Padova. And here we have uh, uh, the uh, clinical uh, uh, experience publication of the three uh, type of uh, valves. Uh, Percival has reached uh, uh, at the end of 2015 uh, uh, 120 publications, uh, enable uh, 27 and Intuity uh, 13. Uh, as I told, 15,000 uh, uh, implants for Percival and uh, 1,000 uh, uh, reported in clinical studies for uh, Intuity. I am <clears throat> even the uh, principal investigation of the major registry of foundation, which enrolled in 27 European centers, 546 patients. Uh, the valve uh, was uh, implanted in uh, 520 patients with a technical success of 95%, isolated AVR in 346 and uh, uh, all the rest uh, in combined procedures, technical success in 90, uh, quite rough, 97% in isolated RVR. And the uh, clinical data will be, I hope, presented at Dable ITS uh, uh, next, uh, uh, next May. Um, here we have uh, uh, the, um, let's say, uh, the, uh, the concept of uh, uh, where to place this kind of sutures. So where is the real need? So sutures are designed in any case for any operable patients who wants a biological uh, valve, who needs a replacement procedure, including complex cases. We know that TAVI 
uh, was uh, uh, designed for uh, extremely high risk or in or inoperable, patient, inoperable patient and this uh, uh, indication is uh, uh, surely uh, downgraded to a uh, lower risk patient, but uh, uh, with sutureless valve, we can surely cover all the uh, um, aspect of uh, low, medium, and high risk uh, uh, patients. So is a, a, a great zone in which uh, uh, the discussion will be open. Indication. And uh, here I seen that uh, uh, Percival has uh, uh, achieved the FDA approval. I will dedicate more my presentation on that pro uh, prosthesis. Uh, as indicated in uh, all kind of replacement of disease, damage of malfunctioning uh, native or prosthetic aortic valves. Uh, FDA uh, is, uh, uh, gives approval also for congenital uh, bicuspid valves and uh, in combined procedure it's only contraindicated in uh, combination of uh, uh, dilated aneurysmatic roots or dissected root. Uh, it's not contraindicated in combination with uh, ascending aortic uh, replacement. Uh, uh, there is a ratio between sinotubular junction and native annulus uh, that need to be respected and should be less than 1.3. And uh, uh, other contraindication is a known hypersensitivity to nickel or cobalt alloys. And uh, 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 there is some warning about uh, children, adolescent, or younger adults in which uh, uh, even chronic renal uh, impairment or calcium uh, disorder uh, can uh, obviously shorten the uh, durability of that valve. Uh, the history of uh, uh, the pericardium is uh, well known because uh, the same technology and treatment was uh, uh, applied uh, on the pericardium uh, uh, biological prosthesis, uh, uh, which is introduced into surgery since 1985 with excellent results in terms of durability. And coming back to the concept of uh, uh, elasticity, uh, this is, uh, in my opinion, uh, very good to absorb the stress, uh, stress uh, of uh, uh, diastolic pressure. Uh, and you can see here how the... Um, can you run the video, please? Uh, it should be... Okay, thank you. You can see here how during diastole or during the closing phase, the stent can really absorb all the stress uh, of the diastolic pressure, and this probably will uh, improve the durability of uh, uh, the pericardium with uh, a freedom from uh, degeneration. Uh, the fact that uh, it's uh, uh, truly sutureless uh, is uh, uh, surely uh, unique, uh, uh, it expanding place, and uh, uh, the uh, collapsibility is uh, a big advantage for increased visualization, especially in uh, complex exposure like in uh, difficult right thoracotomies or in other type of complex uh, procedure. Positioning uh, is uh, driven by the three guiding sutures uh, who helps in uh, defining the eight of uh, uh, the valve. The valve has a pericardial skirt that needs to seat over the native annulus after the dec decalcification that should be uh, uh, extensive, uh, uh, but uh, obviously leaving a good fibrotic tissue to support uh, the valve. And uh, uh, this uh, makes this uh, uh, technique very uh, easier and reproducible. And this, in my opinion, is an excellent device for new uh, uh, beginners. Uh, the roadmap of the clinical studies is uh, uh, exposed here. We see that the first uh, uh, pilot uh, study, which enrolled the first 30 pa uh, patients in three European centers with a 30 days safety 
indicated over 75 years uh, and follow-up is completed at five years like the pivotal study which included 150 patients in nine centers uh, three six months safety and effectiveness over 75 years old patients and a, a cavalier study which enrolled 658 patients, 26 centers, 12 months safety, 65 years old patient, and uh, uh, the follow-up is uh, uh, still ongoing. Uh, in US, uh, the study was completed in uh, 2014 with 300 centers in 18, uh, uh, 300 patients in 18 centers. Uh, endpoints were composite and valve success uh, and safety. Uh, over 18 years, uh, 18 years old patient and uh, follow-up is ongoing. Uh, in uh, Europe, we have uh, another study which is called the SURE AVR in which all aortic valves uh, are uh, um, included. Uh, 465 were Percival and it's a real world uh, performance observational studies uh, with a follow-up up to 10 years. This is the largest uh, uh, experience published, uh, 731 patients, error score were uh, uh, mean uh, 11, uh, implant frame of five years, uh, and 43% uh, uh, of the patients were older than 80. And these are the results, very good. Uh, low and stable uh, hemodynamic uh, performance, 0% uh, structural valve deterioration, 0% uh, thrombosis, early uh, stroke rate uh, 1.6 and 0.8. Mortality 3.4, uh, low perivalvular leak, and no migration reported. These uh, are the hemodynamic performance of the first uh, uh, three sizes uh, available in Europe. Extra large were uh, uh, arrived later in 2013. And you can see that the um, gradients are uh, stable over time, and they did not differ between the sizes, so uh, small, medium, L, and now even extra large shows a similar uh, hemodynamic uh, performance. Uh, here we see the five years of the uh, uh, pilot study results. Also here we have a, a good survival and 100% of uh, success, uh, no a deterioration at five years, uh, zero explant, zero thrombosis, zero stroke. And uh, this uh, was my editorial on that paper in which I uh, encourage uh, the use of these valves, seeing that the durability seems uh, to be very good and that probably can be a new gold standard uh, in future. Uh, I evaluated uh, the benefit of that valves in uh, right thoracotomy and compared even uh, conventional uh, versus uh, uh, sutureless uh, valves. Uh, what I was able to define that uh, uh, obviously the major uh, benefit was in terms of reduction of cross clamping time and cardiopulmonary by bypass time. Uh, and also uh, time in which the patient were ventilated. But uh, uh, another aspect that I wasn't able to uh, um, understand was that uh, uh, the survival was uh, even better uh, at uh, 40 months of follow-up uh, and uh, uh, the uh, survival was also uh, better in uh, uh, in right thoracotomy. So there are surely uh, benefits in uh, uh, clinical indication, which is not only the right thoracotomy, but in all the situation which we need a less traumatic procedure, reduce uh, either for a first implant or replacement or prosthetic valves. Small annulus is an excellent indication. I forgot how to do a root enlargement. Combined procedure are uh, a good indication, even in, uh, in right thoracotomy, in which cross clamp time is surely longer if we 
need a, a, to combine a, a mitral repair or replacement with an aortic procedure, uh, and in all the patients in which uh, uh, multiple risk factors are impairing the clinical results, and uh, obviously uh, all the patients we see every day, older, di diabetic, and so on. So that uh, uh, we... Uh, recently published a, a consensus paper with some key recommendation uh, in which uh, uh, different, uh, uh, let's say, uh, user and uh, uh, expert in that technology uh, find out which has to be the major recommendation uh, for the use of this valve uh, and even some technical uh, recommendation and uh, uh, you can see all what I commented at, until now. And uh, one aspect that I want to stress, uh, but we will surely uh, have time this afternoon to uh, uh, speak about on uh, dry lab or even on uh, the, uh, the lab in this, this afternoon, is that we don't need to oversize uh, uh, a sutureless valve because we can uh, or not totally radially expand uh, the valve in case of uh, uh, Percival, or even at least to stress too much the annulus with uh, the balloon expandable so that we can increase the number of uh, uh, pacemaker need or even rupture of the uh, native root. Uh, surely, and uh, uh, even uh, Dr. Fontana made a comment, uh, we need in future to prove that these valves uh, are at least as good as a conventional as, uh, aortic valve, uh, and uh, uh, probably we will even see that it will be better. This is the first international multicenter uh, study in which uh, uh, more than 20 1,200 patients uh, uh, has to be recruited over 60 centers with a five years follow-up. And the, uh, uh, the study just uh, started in Europe. And uh, this study will surely give an answer be in between uh, which valve will be better. And uh, there is a big uh, uh, open question uh, that even come out before. Uh, last week I published this editorial comment in which I pointed out the results between Tavi versus uh, uh, Mini Aviar with sutureless, uh, pointing out studies uh, related on cost effectiveness or on both procedure and I stress the role of heart team for discussing indication in the grid zone of uh, uh, aortic valve. A replacement indication. So in conclusion, uh, these valves are a promising alternative to standard surgical AVR. Surely Percival shows the broadest clinical experience up to now with excellent performance, uh, may become <clears throat> a new gold standard uh, in uh, uh, patients who need biological valve prosthesis, and it's surely available in US. Thank you very much. <clears throat>